Welcome to the October 28th edition of Vikings Update. We lead off this week's show with a big conference volleyball match at Gratian Gymnasium. Vikings hosted Mayville State last week in front of a packed house. Great start for the Vikings as they rode the early momentum to a 25-16 victory in Game 1. But the Comets were just a bit better on this night, taking the next three games by identical scores of 25-22. Big night for Allie Thoreau, who had 19 kills to lead the Vikings. Steph Miller added 24 assists. VCSU now 13-15 overall and 3-4 and in conference play. Vikings had a rare weekend off, and they will be back at it on Wednesday, October 29th, with their final home game. Vikings host Dickinson State at 7 p.m. Wednesday. They have just three regular season matches remaining. Viking basketball officially tipped off the season this weekend. Viking men opened Friday night at home against Carroll College. Tough loss for the Vikings, who led 40 to 27 at halftime, but lost 63 to 60 after a late rally by Carroll. Vikings bounced back in a big way Saturday and Sunday. Two victories over Oglala Lakota College. VCSU won 108 to 44 on Saturday. After a competitive first five minutes, Vikings pulled away for a 55-27 halftime lead. Riley West had 18 points to lead five Vikings in double figures. Rashad Sadahu added 16 points off the bench all in the second half. Twelve different Vikings scored in the victory. On Sunday, it was more the same for VCSU. Freshman Britton Busman scored 12 first-half points to lead four Vikings in double figures. They won that one 83-48. Quinn Peterson had 12 points, including this put back to beat the halftime buzzer. Russell Robinson finished with a double-double inside, scoring 10 points and pulling down 11 rebounds. 12 different Vikings found the scoring column. Viking men now 2-1 overall. They play an exhibition game Thursday at MSU Moorhead. Tip-off is set for 7 p.m. Viking women's basketball also opened the season this weekend. Big debut for Georgia Williams, who knocks down three of her 18 points here in her Viking debut. Vikings made 11 three-pointers, including five by Williams and four by Sierra Even, as they won 58-44 over Brandon University. Even finished with 14 points and six rebounds, and Megan Troutman poured in 10 points off the bench. VCSU's defense forced 32 turnovers and held Brandon to 44 points on just 37% shooting. Viking women have the weekend off before heading to the Concordia University Cattle Classic for a pair of games November 7th and 8th. Viking Cross Country competed Friday at the Mike Thorson Invitational, hosted by University of Mary. All NCAA Division II teams at the meet besides the Vikings. Malik Jackson led the men with a 12th place finish against tough competition, and Richard Longdew took 13th. Viking men finished 4th as a team. Viking women led by Monica Madavi, who took 19th, and Alexandra Cardenas, who was 28th. Women took 6th as a team. The meet was the final tune-up for VCSU before their conference and national qualifying meet on November 7th in Montana. The North Star and Frontier Conferences are joining together for the meet. The top team advances to the NAI National Cross Country Championships. Viking football had its one bye of the season last weekend. They are back in action Saturday, November 1st with a 1 p.m. conference game at Mayville State. VCSU has just two regular season games remaining. Despite not playing this week, the Vikings did move up two spots to number 17 in the top 25 coaches poll. VCSU now 7-1 overall. Viking football is in position to make the national playoffs if they win their final two games.